This is Eric Mwag with Mwag.com. It is for February 4th, 2019. We're going to take a look at the EWZ and show you what the charts are suggesting. All right, so first and foremost, let's begin with the two-year weekly chart. And it seems right now that the attempt to break out above 2018's weekly closing high and the level there was 48 excuse me 4585 oh by the way this is a two year weekly chart so there was an attempt to break out last week so far it looks like the market has failed to clear the previous weekly closing high and again that is 4585 failed breakout there we can also say for now this is failure to hold above 69.1 so that in itself is also looking like a red flag would be similar to this period here where we have uniform activity above 69.1 and back below it for those highs if we take a look at the monthly chart and this is a three-year monthly chart so three years of data i guess i can just write the whole thing all right so three-year monthly we can see for now that this was the previous monthly close from early 2018 the level there is 45.13 and for now it looks like the breakout is starting to fail the more the market pulls back from 4583 in other words the more this is looking like a failed breakout the more it suggests that the next meaningful swing trade direction is going to be to the to the downside as far as the Brazilian market is concerned, which also might be an indication of general markets worldwide pulling back. We can also see another point of view, which is take a look at this breakpoint. The RSI breakpoint brought the EWZ off the highs of early 2018 before we drift lower for a massive drop. We've come all the way back as far as the EWZ is concerned and we seem to have come to hit this same level as the new month begins here in February and as long as that's the case we can see that this uniformity might be suggesting to start suspecting that there's a move lower unless two things happen it would need the EWZ to break out successfully above the recent 2018 monthly closing high 4513 is the level it would also need so you'd need to see a breakout you'd need to see movement above this blue line also keep in mind the blue line is conveniently somehow around 61.8 which makes that this line is actually very critical in determining the next major move or the direction of the Brazilian market net net Anything below the blue line is bearish. Anything back above the blue line would be bullish. And one more view, which is the long-term monthly view. And we can see if we take the RSI topside line. Oops. We can draw a line connecting the tops. It so happens to connect the top of 2000, the top of early 2018, and now looks like the more it is pulling back from this level this is suggesting with a pullback around here the Brazilian market is poised for a multi-month move lower line Eric Mwadith mother.com as always good luck peace and blessings E-A-C-S